Good morning. Try to get a little bit closer. My stand from the desktop is, I mean, fractions of an inch farther, but the videos seem like they're turning out way far away. So I'm trying to go in a little bit closer because there's a man in the computer that does all kinds of weird stuff to my videos. Not as bad with this camera, I will admit. He respects me for this iPhone 11 camera. <laughs> he better. <laughs> but this is me semi-planning a little bit of stuff. Um, I have one of the magazines I picked up in the free stacks at the... Um, Oh, that's too bad. That says plein air. Anyhow, that's um, like a community magazine, the free stuff that you can get at restaurants and stuff. This one is from Oxford, Mississippi, from when I traveled through there for my cult retreat. And I found a colorful page in the back. There's lots of advertising, and this happened to have a lot of Christmas events in the city pictures still since it was beginning of February. Yeah. So that had a lot of color, and I just took white acrylic paint, and put over it, scraped it over, and very thinly, because I wanted some of the color to show through purposely. So let's rip this out. Get rid of that now. Make it to the size of my sheet so that I don't mess up before I even get out of the gate. All right. This one did not show up as pretty on camera. It's really pretty. Anyhow, okay. All right, so we're gonna put it on the back of this. Pencil, pencil. And guess what? I might be able to come out of hibernation. The birds, I took Bogey for a little walk already so that he was settled. The birds are chirping. It's not going to rain for the next three days, which is like a lifetime this winter. Seems like we've had rain, 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 rain. The month of February was rain. If we could ship some of that to California, that would be good because they're gonna be in dire straits come summer. They have had no rain. They get just wintertime rain as a general rule. Some things are a little different these days, but generally it's just rain in the winter. Okay. There. Now I'm going to attach this. And my song for today is with a little help from my friends. And that conjugates all kinds of stuff in my head. Since my whole goal on YouTube is to make friends around the world, which I have, some for a very long time, huh, Curti? And um, I watched a little bit of Allie Edwards. You saw my video yesterday. Oh my God, the rain yesterday. It was crazy coming home. It was worse than going. And I videotaped that little clip in my car yesterday going. And it was worse than that coming home. And then my, this is my ex-mother-in-law who is kind of really kind of like, I have two other mothers. <laughs> my friend's mom out in California. And then this lady. Um, I've known this lady actually longer than my friend's mom in California. Um, I've known her since I was four-ish, four and a half. And she was my mother-in-law. Don't even want to go there. But you can't hold it against her. Her son's issues are not her fault. I don't think. And so, um, she had complete reconstruction of her rotator cuff. So she's in a rehab facility and I went to go see her up the road about 40 minutes, but she called me again last night. One of her sons, not my ex-husband, her other son, he's, he's coming back. Can you come back? I'm like, she goes, I know it's a lot to ask. I said, oh. I didn't want to tell her, okay, my bra is off. 
the dog is settled. Um, I have dinner already made and uh, it's yucky outside. I was like, oh, I said, I, I just can't. I would love to see him. I haven't seen him. You know how you see people at funerals only? Uh, last time I saw him was at his grandfather's funeral, which was probably 10 years ago. So um, I would like to see both he and his wife. But um, I think I'm coming back next week because this is National Quilt Month and there's a lot of stuff in our quilt guild going on down here. So I think I might come back next Wednesday and I can go back up there on Thursday. And hopefully by then she'll be out of the rehab facility. Long story short, okay, with a little help from my friends. So yesterday afternoon, even evening really, um, I was watching Allie Edwards. Don't tell Amy Tangerine. But where were you this morning at five o'clock when I was looking for you? Right here. <clears throat> I miss Amy Tangerine's process videos. I know she's into the planning. It's pretty. I like it. It's not my cup of tea. I know she's got to go where the money leads her. <laughs> Surely she's in it for the love and the money. But she has a career. This is her career. I miss her process videos greatly. And Allie Edwards is showing process videos. And she did get one. She's got a stamp thing she's doing this week. Um... And it was all different fonts, which you know is right up my alley, with her pro with her products. And I have a couple of, well, I'm in her club. Her story club, I think it is. Okay, I need to talk or we're going to be here all day again. I mean, I need to art. So my, my plan is, with a little help from my friends, watching her videos, she did a chain of hearts on one of her process pages. And I'm like, a chain of people. So if I can get on my, look at this. Who is this? This is right up my alley. <gasps> Speaking of alley. Legendary creator Guy de Rosemont, south of France, bears witness to decades of inspired living. These are like Matisse pieces out of wood or something. Well, yeah, if I lived in the south of France, I'd probably be a beautiful artist too. <laughs> His public work is in sculptures that stand alongside a motorway in France and the pavement in front of the Musée, Musée d'Orsay in Paris. That is my favorite museum. MoMA? Not MoMA. Yeah. Metropolitan Museum of Art. Museum d'Orsay. Mm, pretty darn close. Um, the Louvre. Geek. <laughs> it's a three-way collaboration. But, okay, so I, I hate to break this up, but I want something colorful like this. Let's not break this just yet. Because I might photocopy that. <laughs> I just love that. Okay, say something like this. Lots of color. I'm going to make little people and string them across my page and call it the little help from my friends. So what did I, what was, oh, here. Oh, that's pretty, too. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's gorgeous. Can you tell I like color? Yum. Oh, I hate to get rid of that one, too. Okay, you can't keep them all, Beth. You can't keep them all. You don't have room. You have to buy another house. Okay, that could be... I would not live in that much color. <laughs> okay, that should be enough. Now I need to come up with a pattern... That's going to be the next issue. Let's dig through our trash. And some of the stuff that we just threw away. Find a piece of paper. Let me get all the tape off of me. All right. I just want... Now, I could do the chain people, but I don't know if I can do that. But I want something just like that. But a little wild, you know like just like that um maybe not quite so wild so with a little help from my friends and then this colorful background could be or these colorful people can be on this slightly colorful background and that works for me so the yes the w weather has 
dramatic improvements in the forecast for the next couple days. Not extremely warm yet, but it is the first week of March. Oh, tomorrow's the first anniversary of my dad's death while you're watching this. <sighs> Breathe deep. He's in a better place. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. This rehab facility that my mother-in-law was at, ex-mother-in-law, friend of the family, was super nice. Okay, let's get some real colorful spots here. Oh, that's so pretty. Maybe we can fudge around it, not cut it. But anyhow, we had a very nice visit. I stayed there for about almost three hours. Two and a half hours, and then it, well, two hours, and then it was like 40 minutes there, 40 minutes back. Poor little bogey. That was definitely his limits. It's like, Where have you been? I think I know. And then I'm going to this quilt thing today, and the next, well, a big town over Conway. They have a museum over there, which I didn't even know about. But it's, they're doing something, I cannot remember what it, it's something about slavery and quilts and then oh then I'm going back to this place when I go next week if I go next week I passed an indigo farm and now I don't know if they were just using that name but I was out in a farmer area across the border and a little tiny bit inland there's good rich soil around here that's why they used to grow cotton and indigo here and indigo had a big um business here in the old days granted they did use slavery to farm it with but um we're not going to go into all that um if they have like an indigo dot now our quilt guild is doing an indigo dyeing class that i would love to do i might fudge somehow and see if i can finagle that in this month okay see the little help for my friends I need one more all right let's find some more pretty colors but the birds are out it's like everybody's ready to stretch their legs and move it has been I haven't even been on that bike my sister brought down here I think I rode it twice with Bella. She's at her other grandmother's this weekend, so she's not going to be here. That's why we came down, because my husband could come. He'll be here this afternoon. It's so funny, my mother-in-law's husband's first name was Kenneth. My ex-husband's first name was Kenneth. Neither one of them went by their first names. They went by their middle names. My husband's name is Kenneth, but he goes by Ken. It's like this. And my husband knew her cousin, was good friends with her, is good friends with her cousin before he ever met me. It's a small world, people. Oh, I love that. See, with a little help from my friends, these could be pretty. Okay. Now, silly me left the glue, the lid on my glue stick up off. This one's almost gone, but if I just trim an exacto knife the very top of this it'll be okay again but i left the glue stick off from yesterday so these are my friends so Allie had a chain of hearts i have a chain of friends around the world and that is cool Just ripped one of my friend's heads off, almost. But you can't tell them once I glue it down. <clears throat> now I might go around this with the Stabilo. My Stabilo here needs a pencil sharpener. I know I have one here somewhere. So 
I'm really looking forward to this thing today at the museum. I don't know what it's going to do, what it's going to be. Now, this might drive other people nuts, but I love this. And the background has just enough continuity of the white that these guys can slightly stand out. We'll pretend we're in the south of France. Oh, too bad I don't have a French map here. But I don't. All right, my water's already black from yesterday. Just adds a little bit of highlight to pop them out, and I like that. So yeah, I miss Amy Tangerine's process videos. I go back and watch the old ones. I probably can recite them word for word, but James Burke keeps saying he's going to do a travel class on how he did his Japan travel journal that I probably will buy. Let's do a little bit of an outline around the edge too. Maybe with ink. Black ink. Mm, that's weird. And hold on to your art supplies. I might have an added bonus at the end of this for you. If I can get my act together film-wise. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, with a little help from my friends. Hmm. There's a line right here. I like the vertical look. With a little help from my friends and a tiny little heart. Oh, I like that. <clears throat> Let's see if I can remember to put it on Instagram. I like that. And get ready for a little bonus, hopefully. Do you see what I just did? Now, it's not perfect. But I just sewed on my antique sewing machine. One signature. All right. We're going to try the other signature. Let me go get it. Have an issue because all right two of these 
They're going to be out of order, possibly. Let's see. One. Yeah, they're going to be out of order. That's okay. I'd rather have them in the book and out of order than not in the book. All right. And I'm not doing this the right way. This is definitely not a class on how to do this. I binder clipped them in. I have my center seam. And I'm going to sew... Like that. Trying to keep things even. Now this is not straight. And I'm still not sure how I'm going to get him in my signature. Although I do have, I do, I, yes I do. I mean in my cover, I have um, elastic coming today. Thank you Amazon. Okay. Let's go. This is Monica. Meet Monica. She is named Monica because she is 66 years old. And Route 66, the famous highway here in the United States, ends in Santa Monica, California. So she's named Monica. Okay, I have two signatures side by side. You can see a little bit of my fabric. Right, let me move this out a little bit. You can see a little bit of it right here. And then I'm gonna put that in with a rubber band for right now, traveler's notebook style. And I don't like all this, even in my sewing, so I probably will get rid of it. I don't put a lot of embellishments on my stuff. Oh, fun. Oops, let's not put her in upside down. Oh, I hope she's not in upside down. Oh, well, it wouldn't be mine if it was normal. Well, and to go right side up, she's on the end. Okay, that's upside right. That's upside right. Where's the one I just did with you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yesterday's got split in half. And that's upside. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. See you all tomorrow. Probably not at the sewing machine again. But that was fun. I can do it. I just... And this definitely has got to get trimmed a little bit, but anyhow, it's an experiment. Maybe I'll make a couple, what do they call the collage? Now, what do they call them? Not assortments, not mixtures. Are you screaming at the phone, Curti? Groupings, whatever layering groupings like my, I love mitts does but I love okay thanks Monica